Go ahead. All right. Do we know who those abstentions were from? Which supervisors? Is that possible to hear out loud? Or same ones every week. Okay. We'll check. Uh, we'll check later on that. Thank you. It's Eric Previn. Donovan and Ridley Thomas. Okay. It's Eric Previn, the county resident from District Three. Um, S1, of course, uh, has been pushed back, uh, but CS2, if I'm not mistaken, is also under the category of looking for the child protection director. I would urge this Board of Supervisors to move with alacrity on this problem, because there's no point in having these commissions if we don't actually act on them, and this is not the kind of action we've been uh, awaiting. I know it's a challenging position, but we got a lot of challenging positions, including public health director. we got to find an auditor controller. We're looking for a, a sheriff through the electoral process, a third district supervisor, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, an assessor. We may have landed one already, but we've got a lot of things to look for. We have to turn up the pace on finding child director because it's critical. Item number uh, 38 has to do with the permit fees that we are uh, slightly revising. Uh, we do it from time to time. Uh, I know Supervisor Kanabi is a small business champion, but when I look at some of these fees, it seems to me that they are to the benefit of groups that have a larger number of units. For example, uh, to be very specific, um, the residential hotel single room occupancy inspection for a 6 to 10 unit group costs 433 bucks to have that inspection. For 101 or more units, the price is only $649. So this is a giant benefit to the larger uh, owner there, if I understand it correctly. Item number one, I'd like to say thank you to Mark Ridley Thomas for looking after uh, his team. He has uh, Alex Johnson, who was defeated in the District 1 Board of Education election, is now on the LA County Board of Education. So mazel tov on that. Uh, he'll start as of uh, September 10th. Uh, Supervisor Yaroslavsky uh, is, well, he's taking an action that I suppose he'll defend, which is to put uh, Sislowski and Bojarski, who are two commissioners, and he's going to extend their terms of service, uh, even though he's out of office in about three or four months. I, I find that a mistake because I think that Shriver or Kuehl, whoever takes over, would want to have their person in, and I'm not buying the legacy thing. I think that if it were a new, it's just a mistake to go down that road, in my opinion. No disrespect to the people. I'm sure they've done a good job. Well, I'm not sure, but I assume. Item number 10 is Mark Ridley Thomas bravely introducing one of his favorite subjects, which is data in Downey. We are going to have a data, a, fi a giant data center down in Downey, and Mark Ridley Thomas is going to make sure of that. Now, you may be thinking, why wouldn't that be Supervisor Kanabi, since Supervisor Kanabi is the king of Downey? And the answer, if I'm not mistaken, is that there's a lobbyist activity going on uh, that may be too close for comfort. Speaking of too close for comfort, I think everybody in L.A. County loves the lifeguards. I certainly love the lifeguards. I know Mayor uh, Supervisor Yaroslavsky loves the lifeguards. And here we have Supervisor Kanabi looking after the lifeguards. It is worth noting that the lifeguards, too, are lobbyist employers. They have spent, and I kid you not, about a half a million dollars on lobbying with England or Kanabi and Allen. Now, that is not for naught, because they're going to get what I hope is coming down the pike on this, which is to be included Thank in the you. same Your way fire so. Thank you. Next. Item number seven. That was three minutes? Yeah, you got tied up and